Good morning. Pilgrims in Sydney for World Youth Day will spend the morning recovering after last night's spectacular opening mass on the harbour foreshore. It wasn't all prayer. There was plenty of joy and, of course, singing. Even a week of contemplation has room for a little rock music. Pilgrims at Darling Harbour were ready to party. Even the head of the Catholic Church in Australia was in the mood. Thanks. I don't know whether you'll get him up dancing. You can try. The song list included hymns, U2's With or Without You and opera. Music booming out across Darling Harbour had just a few simple messages of love, peace and hope. Its audience, about 100,000 happy pilgrims. Headline act Damien Leith had the crowd in raptures. They don't call it soul music for nothing. The mood was joyous. pilgrims singing one message in unison. We're hoping to be filled with the love of God by the Holy Spirit. The Australian Girls Choir sang a Seekers classic. In this crowd, this week, nothing could be more true. Well, the concert followed the official World Youth Day opening mass. A section of harbourside land which once housed shipping containers turned into a place of worship for more than 100,000 pilgrims. They travelled from all corners of the world. Thousands of pilgrims filtered into Barangaroo. The site of old docklands transformed into a harbourside cathedral for more than 100,000 faithful. In scenes reminiscent of the Olympic opening ceremony, the flags of 168 countries represented at this year's event were paraded through the aisles. After their year-long journey, the cross and icon arrived for the official opening of World Youth Day 2008. The build-up took on a distinctive Australian flavour before the Prime Minister welcomed the youth of the world to Sydney. May each of you be enriched by your time here among us in Australia, just as you enrich Australia by your time here with us. Welcome to Australia. As the head of the Australian Catholic Church, Cardinal George Pell addressed the crowd, Peace be with you. The party atmosphere made way for tradition. In his homily, Cardinal Pell delivered a message of hope for the future of the world's youth. You young pilgrims can look ahead to the future stretching out before you, so rich in promise. Cardinal Pell led the gathering in prayer. Pilgrims exchanged greetings, communion was offered. And finally, the 23rd World Youth Day was officially open. But this mass gathering will seem relatively small when the Pope leads the final mass on Sunday. Up to half a million people are expected to descend on Randwick Racecourse to receive his blessing. Nick Humphreys, Sky News.